what you need to be doing as you prepare to go back to school, right? And in thinking about one, making sure you understand what, the, what curriculum is being offered and, and the representation that's in that curriculum and the, and the historical correctness of that, of that curriculum, understanding discipline and how and when things are escalated and, and by who and, and who shows up when are police called, right? Things like that, that as people start to think about going back, and if you think about the ways in which you can be actively engaged, those are just a few things that you, as a parent, can like be activating mm -hmm. and, and be mm -hmm. questioning and be, be in that space of, of school administration and uh, teachers to say, I have questions about these things. What, what, are, what are just a couple of other things that parents mm -hmm. should be doing as they're thinking about understanding how to better prepare their children for school and to hold accountable the grownups that are in charge of those schools. The two you mentioned are critical. Know what your student uh, is supposed to know and be able to do in a very deep way. And, and, and also how they're learning uh, what they need to know and be able to do, particularly if, if their kid is, can literally see themselves represented in the materials. And also that the materials are, um, uh, have a critically conscious way of looking at our history, right? Uh, so that's one, a good one. Um, also being very aware of what the discipline practices are, what, what the checks and balances are when they reach out to families. You know, way too often, the only time we hear from schools is when something happens and when the, is when the consequence is being dispensed, uh, as opposed to real partnership around the, the non-academic skills, which, which are always two steps forward, one step back. So really understanding what those processes are and how to partner with the school, uh, and and not waiting, frankly, until you get the call that you know someone's in the office. 